Good morning, everybody. It's Sarah Banks from Banks' Business Solutions here. How are we all on this lovely sunny Friday morning? Um, I wanted to pop on and do a quick live um, as it's been a little while since I have been on here live. Um, and I wanted to kind of share with you where things are for me with my business, what's going to be happening over the next few months, and kind of find out if there's any video tips you'd like to see over the next few months and tell you a little bit more about why my video is probably going to be a little bit more personal. Um, hello Ange, thanks for joining this morning. Um, so the first thing I want to do, um, I think most of my followers know this, um, that I'm actually off travelling in two weeks time uh, with my family. We're going away for 12 weeks and we're going to be travelling to a range of countries in East Asia and Australasia. Um, and I'm going to be running my business from the road, which is really, really exciting but also a little bit daunting um, because there's lots of things that I need to have in place for that, um, particularly in terms of GDPR as well. Um, I think today and earlier this week have kind of <laughs> brought home a little bit of the reality of the challenges I might face. Um, so this week, my broadband at home has been playing up. It's intermittent. Um, it does it in the rain, and I believe that it possibly is the sunshine that's causing the issue this time. Um, which is a little bit frustrating, but as we all know, technology is fantastic when it works and sometimes it doesn't. So that's kind of made me real, realise that I may have these similar issues whilst I'm away and trying to think about ways in which I can mitigate against those and how I can work offline um, and connect in as and when I'm able to. Um, so I'm kind of really thinking those things through this week to make sure I can continue to provide the service to my clients that they expect I have to say I'm really lucky that I have a great team team here um, both of my associates Claire and Zeta are going to be picking up extra things while I'm away they're going to be making sure that things still happen they're going to be dealing with inquiries they're going to be dealing with any new clients that come on board during the time I'm away as well as helping support the current clients um, and continuing to make sure that you get all the things that you usually expect to get through my social media channels as well so I'm really lucky that I have them here um, and they're, they are in the UK and they're here to support me during this time. Um, the other challenge I have today is that my emails are pretty much completely down. Um, so yesterday afternoon I couldn't send emails and around about 5pm yesterday I suddenly was able to, which was great, I managed to get some emails out. Um, this morning I couldn't access my emails whatsoever um, and about 8 o'clock they seem to be working again. And now I can't receive emails, so I can now send but not receive emails, which again is equally helpful, um, but is, is helping me try and focus on what else I can do today around that, which I feel is great preparation for going away for two weeks, uh, it's not two weeks, going away in two weeks um, and not potentially having access to everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. I, I'm mass in closing down some projects that I've been working on at the moment and really getting prepared for traveling, making sure that all of my regular clients are fully aware of what I'm doing and when, where I'm going to be and how their support is going to work while I'm away. Um, the great thing about being a virtual assistant or any freelance online based business is that actually as long as you have your um, computer or your tablet or your phone with you and you've got an internet connection, you can actually work from anywhere and I'm really, really looking forward to over the next few months sharing with you some videos and some messages and some blog posts about where I've been working from, what the view is out the window where I am and, and really kind of showing you um, how running your own business um, can be more than just something that you do for you at home, that you can really make it fit with other things that you want to do in life as well because that's really important to me to share that. So you're going to be seeing a lot more about me and me personally and my journey over the next few months. Um, so I'm really excited about being able to share that with you and I hope that you'll be interested in that as well. Um, so the, the final thing I want to talk about today was the dreaded GDPR. I know that we all kind of think, oh, well, 25th of May is gone, the world hasn't blown up, everyone's still in business, which is all absolutely fantastic. And it is great. Um, but what I want to say is that GDPR is still around. It's still very important. It's still vital that we're thinking about it and we're looking at it and we're working to make our businesses um, compliant as close as we can be um, you know because it is still there you know it hasn't just gone away 
Um, and I don't want to panic anybody. I've never been about panicking people. But if you aren't sure about GDPR or what you should be doing, then please do ask. And I'm going to um, come on next week to have a talk a bit more about GDPR um, in terms of contracting, because that's something that's quite big at the moment. I did a poll recently in my networking group um, and on my page here about who has contracts with people that, that are supporting them in their business. So that could be virtual assistants, it could be social media experts, it could be web designers, it could be bookkeepers, it could be accountants. Anybody that's supporting you in your business and has access to data from your business are effectively a data processor under GDPR. And you need to make sure that you're contracting with them in the right way to ensure that your compliance remains in place um, throughout throughout that working relationship with them because under GDPR both of you are liable if something was to go wrong and you need to be protecting each other and whilst I know that there are a lot of friendly relationships with people that we work with we all we're all you know developing relationships all the time with our clients and with our customer base and our subcontractors and that's fantastic actually GDPR really does um, push the need to have really good strongly written contracts in place because without those then you are leaving yourself open to to risks um should something go wrong um even just with a piece of software that your subcontractor is using you could put yourself hugely at risk so i'm going to pop in next week and and have a chat about that um i will try and schedule this into my diary and pop um a post it to let you know when i'm going to be coming in to do that so if anyone's got any questions around that and what they need to be doing and why it's important, you'll be able to come and join me for that. Um, but if you do have any topics you'd like me to cover in live videos or top tip videos or anything you'd like me to share on my blog over the next few months, any questions about what I'm doing and where I'm going, then please do pop them in the comments, engage with me, send me a message because I'd love to be able to chat with people more about what I'm doing and really bring through this personal and this personal side to to my journey at the moment in business so thank you for those that have, have joined this morning and watched the video um hi to those that are catching up on replay and thank you for sticking with me i know this is a seven or eight minute video this morning it's not a quick one um but i'm really looking forward to sharing with you more over the next few months and i will speak to you all soon bye for now